small pantry, so I like to keep it nice and organized. And I love the Dollar Tree bins. I recently picked up these gray and blue ones. Now, a lot of times I use clear bins in here, but I've been loving these bins. So I got three containers that look like this. And if you're needing organization bins, January is the best time to pick them up at Dollar Tree. I also picked up this bin. Last year I bought it in black, so I'm so excited that it has the blue this year. So I got three of these. And what I like to do is just organize the different items. So I have snacks up here. I have my vitamins and supplements, some macaroni for the kids and onions. And then these are different like vinegars and oils that we use. Below here, I keep just our different like pretzels and chips and things like that. If you have a small pantry, this pullout shelf is very useful. I actually buy them off of Amazon. And the cool thing about it is you can just slide it onto your shelf. You don't have to like screw anything or glue it in place. And it's a great way to make another shelf for your pantry. I have these random containers at the top of my pantry that are super disorganized. So I wanted to get them a little bit more organized. So I found these four wooden containers at Dollar Tree. And I thought if I put them all together, it would make a really sturdy organization piece. So I used some E6000 and added that to two of the sides of each of the boxes, stuck them together. And since E6000 takes overnight to dry, I used some binder clips to hold them in place until it had time to dry. Now that it's been overnight, I'm going to just remove the binder clip. It's completely sturdy, everything's held together. Now I'm going to organize these items in here that I wanna keep, like my gum, I definitely wanna put that in here. I have some chip clips, so I'm actually gonna get out the ones I use and keep those. I have some rubber bands and different things like that, so let's get this organized. So I love this so much better. I have my gum, rubber bands, and then I did two different sections of chip clips. These are binder clips, so I'm gonna put this where I keep my office supplies. They really don't go in here, and then I'm gonna get rid of this. If you make any cookies or baked goods and you wanna cover them, here's a simple hack. So you're going to need a plastic bowl from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need some of these wood rings. Now, if you can't find wood rings, you could also use their shower rings. So I'm gonna take out maybe two or three of my wood rings. And then you're going to flip your bowl over. Next, you're gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the inside of one of your rings and then place the top ring and just try to make them as even as possible. I'm gonna add some hot glue to the base of my rings where I put the hot glue earlier, and then I'm gonna place it in the center of my bowl. Now you can use your regular dinner plates for this. This is just one I had in my cabinet. You can place your baked goods on it. If you wanna leave them out all day, just put your Dollar Tree cover on. I have two ideas for you guys on how you can store craft supplies. So when I was in the crafter square, I found this retractable holder and I thought this would be perfect for paint brushes. So this is what it looks like out of the packaging. You're just going to unscrew it. Then the side that has the little handle on it, you're gonna take your paint brushes and put them in. This would be great if you had to transport your brushes or if you didn't have a designated craft space. Then you're gonna take this and just slide it back on and it easily stores all your paint brushes. The other cool thing about this is you can customize it based on the size of your brushes. So if your brushes are a little bit longer, you can just leave it out a bit. Now, another way you can store your brushes, this is great if you have a place to display them or you have a craft room, you want a clear glass from Dollar Tree. And then I also picked up some of these crushed glass pieces, but you could use rocks or anything they have at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna cut a few of these and put them into my container. Then you can place your paint brushes inside. The thing I like about this is it keeps them separated. So when you go to get a paintbrush, you can see the different ones that you have. I have two fun hacks I wanna show you using these dish racks, so let's go. I use the dish drying rack all over my kitchen. One of my favorite places is down here where I keep my pots and pans. It's perfect for your lids. I'm able to store four of my glass lids. They come out really easily. Now I will say it doesn't work for pans. I actually store my pans up here and I had to buy this organizer off of Amazon, but for your lids, it's great. Another Dollar Tree dish drying rack hack to try is to take this 
flip it over and then you're gonna need to pick up some of these removable hooks. You want this type because they have a little hook on the end. You're gonna add your hooks to the bottom of your dish drying rack and then place it underneath your cabinet. It's great for storing things like your foil and parchment paper. I saw this next organizing hack on Amazon and I thought it was such a great idea if you're getting ready to move. So what you wanna do is get different colors of duct tape. Then whenever you're moving and you're packing up a room, let's say you're packing up your kitchen, you're gonna put the same color duct tape on all of your boxes in the kitchen. Then just create a map. So like this color is for the kitchen, this color is going to be for the bedroom and so on. That way when anyone is helping you move, they know exactly where to put those items in your new house. One of my favorite items in my kitchen from Dollar Tree is this cupcake container. You don't have to spend $20 on these anymore. You can get it for $1.25. It's an easy way to transport your cupcakes. The only downside to this one would be it only has nine slots. So if you're making a dozen, that's kind of a bummer, but you could always buy two of these. It would definitely be worth it for the $2.50. These cabinet shelves aren't just for your kitchen, you can use them in your closet. If you have a lot of purses like I do, and I have a lot of small purses, so this works really great with smaller purses. These cabinet shelves, I bought two of them. I also got two of these dish drying racks. I'm gonna show you how you can put this all together to create storage for your purses. So the one thing you need is zip ties. I find that's the best to hold it together. I'm gonna place the two cabinet shelves together, and then I'm going to zip tie the legs. Now with my dish drying rack, I'm going to place that on top of my cabinet shelf and do the exact same thing. I'm gonna hold it in place with some zip ties. I placed eight zip ties holding the dish rack in place and then I cut them all off. Now I'll show you how to organize your purses. I love to use large jars sitting out on my countertops. They're also great for your pantry. These are some of my favorites. You can pick them up at Walmart. They're glass. They have these gorgeous lids. They're perfect for flour. You can put oats in there. I also bought these scoops at Dollar Tree and I had a fun little DIY that I did last year where I put the scoops on the outside. These are perfect to sit out and really affordable. If you have a car like I do where all the seats fold down, you probably know whenever you put anything in your trunk, sometimes it can roll all around, maybe even get up to the front seat. So what I like to do to fix that problem is get these collapsible bins from Dollar Tree. They're only $1.25 and they change them out with the season. Right now you can get these striped ones. They're perfect to put your groceries or your Dollar Tree sacks or anything you have in there. So it stays in place and they're collapsible. So if you need to fold them and put them off to the side, you can do that as well. Mason jars are so great to organize with. Let me show you a few hacks. Whenever you finish your table salt, do not throw out the container. You can use the pour spout with your mason jar. So what you're gonna do is take the mason jar lid and lay it on top of your container. Make sure you put the circle part over the pour spout. Then use a pen to draw a circle. To start cutting it, I usually use my wire cutters, but then I finish it off with my scissors. Once you cut out the circle, you can put it into the lid of your mason jar. You can put ingredients in here that get all over the place. I put in breadcrumbs, but you could also do flour or sugar. Then you just put your lid back on. Anytime you wanna pour them out, just pull open the pour spout. I've shown you the Parmesan lid hack before, but with the summer months coming up, I have a fun solution for your summer drinks. If you didn't know already, the Parmesan lids fit perfectly on your mason jars. I like to keep my drinks covered in the summer, so you can fill this up with your favorite drink, then put on the Parmesan lid container, and you can put my favorite reusable straws. They come in a pack of 10. They're really affordable on Amazon. I'll link them for you down below. You can put those into the container. It's gonna keep your drink covered and a lot cooler. So I had to figure out a hack for these candles. These are actually candles that I've had a while now from JCPenney, and these are the candles, but look at how they kind of lean. They don't stay in here very well. So a hack you can do with your tapered candles is actually get a rubber band. I have black ones, but you could use any color, and then you're going to wrap 
the rubber band around the bottom of your tapered candle. So these are smaller rubber bands, so they fit around about three times. Then you're going to place your candle back into the holder. And what it's gonna do, it's going to fill in that gap for your candle. And now these candles stand up straight and they're perfect. So I have these floating shelves in my bathroom that literally I probably haven't touched for several years now. And I wanna make them more functional. So I bought this set of baskets at Walmart that I think is gonna be perfect. And the larger one, I'm gonna organize my toilet paper so it's in here and functional. And I'm also going to revamp the decor. Make sure you paint that subscribe button. If you're watching me on your phone, the subscribe button is right next to my channel name. Click the red subscribe button so it goes from red to gray. You can also click the notification bell so you can see more videos like my Dollar Tree DIYs, home packs, and room makeovers. Let's be honest, sometimes the idea of organizing your house can be really overwhelming, especially if you have a whole house that needs to be organized. So my tip for you is to break it down into smaller pieces. Just concentrate on one room. I'm in my kitchen right now, so I'm just gonna concentrate on my kitchen. I'm not gonna worry about the rest of my house. If working on one room is too overwhelming for you, break it down even farther. Just concentrate on organizing one drawer or one cabinet or just doing under your sink. I I promise you, you're gonna feel a lot better getting one area organized and don't worry about the rest, you can do it later. If you have a messy drawer of ponytail holders and you wanna corral them, consider getting a shower curtain ring. Now this one is from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna open it up, I'm gonna slide all of the ponytail holders onto the ring and then clasp it together. Anytime I want to take one off, I can just open it up and easily pull one off. If you have a shallow drawer in your refrigerator, these containers are awesome. Now I know these are supposed to be for cans of soda, but what I like to use these for is actually storing snacks and like lunch supplies down in our shallow drawer. It's really easy to separate them all out and they're only $1.25. If you're looking for a container to organize your fridge, I wanna show you these Dollar Tree containers. They are awesome. They are clear, they have handles on them. They're perfect for putting in all of the different items you have in your fridge. You can typically put three or four of them across a row, and I love these. I can easily pull them out and put them back in and everything stays nice and organized. Now, if you're looking for a container to store your fruit, I love these little ones from Dollar Tree. They're $1.25. I probably don't need to keep saying that, but yes, they're $1.25. They're also BPA free. They're great for storing your fruit because they have a strainer piece, they lock in place, and I love that they're clear so you can see what's inside, and they come in a bunch of different colors. You don't want to spend the money buying smaller containers of juice or little drink items for your kids. You can get a set of glass containers with lids. You can get something similar at Dollar Tree, but these are from Amazon. I have a pack of 10 of them. I'll link them for you down in the description box. But what I like to do just for like a special treat is I'll put these little, they're kind of like crystal light packages, but they're from Walmart. They're the Walmart brand. I'll put them in here, add in some water, and then I just mix it together and it's a fun drink my kids can have in the fridge. And since they have a lid, they're portable so they can take them and go. You guys know I love to label the items in my fridge. I recently found these labels off of Amazon. What I love about these is they're peel and sticks. You put them onto a container and then you can pull them up and put them back on at another time. Some of the labels I've had in the past, they're just like a one use item. So when they get messed up, you have to repurchase them. These are kind of like a thick plastic and they're supposed to last a little bit longer. They only come with 10 labels, so there's not as many options. So that's the only downside I see with these. Okay, Liz, so we put down to show everyone how you use your microfiber towels in your kitchen. 
That is such a great system. I wanna show you guys this. This is something I've been doing now for several years and it works so great. So underneath my sink, I have a set of microfiber towels over here. They're in this little magazine file folder and these are blue microfiber towels. I bought them on Amazon in a pack of 50. Now what I love about them is they're all the same color. So these are our designated cleaning towels. So anyone who does laundry knows to put them right back here underneath the sink and they don't get mixed up with our other towels. This has been the best system. So even if you don't get these towels, maybe consider getting the same color towels that you can keep just for cleaning. I know I'm going to get some questions about this turnstile. This is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies and it's a wood turnstile that I got at Ikea. So another hack is how you can fold your long dresses. So over here, if you look, I have this red dress and it goes all the way to the floor. If you want to make it so it stops where your short dresses do, I'm going to show you a hack for hanging this up. That way you have more floor space underneath here. I'm going to show you two ways for how to hang these dresses. So one way is you can take the bottom part of your dress, pull it up here, and then on this lower portion, you're just gonna pull it through and then make it as flat as possible and you can have it hang like that. That's one option. Option two, you're gonna fold the dress in half and then you'll just put it halfway through your hanger and then you can kind of try to pull it apart too if you need to. What do you like better, option one or two? Let me know down in the comments. I got a great hack I wanna show you with this paper towel holder. I actually like to prep my outfits out a few days in advance, and so you need something where you can hang all your outfits. So what you're gonna need is a paper towel holder. You're also going to need some really sticky hooks. I bought these on Amazon. I'll link them for you down below. So these hooks come with two hooks. I'm gonna cut them in half. So you're gonna take the hooks and you're going to stick them onto one side of your paper towel holder. So I have two on this side and I'll put two more on the bottom. Next, pull off the sticky backs, then place them where you want your hook to be. And then repeat those steps with your two bottom hooks. Make sure it's stuck down really well before you hang anything on it. Then you can put your outfits for the week on here. One of the things that I don't like around my craft room is when I have string or ribbon and it's just kind of all over the place. So I like putting them in mason jars. This mason jar you can pick up at Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke three different holes in the top of my container and then I'm gonna put my string inside. So to do that, I'm gonna use a nail and a hammer. This is like a little hammer. I think these are like the hammers you get, like the Home Depot kids. What are they called? Build and Grow program. But I love these, we use these all the time. So I created a hole, so I'm just gonna pull that nail out and then I'll make a hole over here. Now you could put as many holes as you need. I'm just going to take my ribbon, put it inside and see once you get this going once, you don't have to do it again. So then I'm just gonna string my ribbon through my holes. Now for some reason, look and see, my holes aren't really big enough. So what I'm gonna do is just take that nail, put it back in and I'll just kind of try to move it around to make that hole bigger. So I'm gonna stick the string through this hole. I'm not gluing anything in place. You can always change this out, or if you finish up this one, you can always use a different one. So I'll do the same thing with my red twine. I'll just put it in there, and then I'll push it through one of the holes. And then I'll also do that with the black. Okay, I got all three of my strings in there, so I'm just gonna tighten this. And then anytime I need to take a little bit of ribbon off, I'll just pull off what I need and cut it. Dollar Tree's also carrying a new line of wire organizers over in the stationery section. Love the rose gold color. You can buy a bunch of different accessories here. This is great for organizing in your office. I also think it's a great idea for your kitchen or pantry to have a command station. I'm gonna put together this command station to hang on my pantry wall. So I picked up two of the grids and I'm gonna start by hanging them up. Dollar Tree sells several items to help you out. They have these wire net fixing hooks. Now they do come with nails. I'm gonna be using command strips to hang them on the wall. Another thing you might wanna get if you get two of them are these wire net connectors to connect both of them together.
then add in the hangable containers that they sell at Dollar Tree. This is great for things like your pens, your envelopes, your post-it notes, keeps it all on the wall and out of the way. You can also add in some magnetic hooks for notes. If you want to make your shelf look completely new, consider getting some of this easy shelf liner. I prefer the kind that doesn't stick down. That way, if I want to take it up, replace it, I can. You can also wash this really well, but it's easy to cut it down to size. It makes your shelves look nice and uniform and brand new. If you're gonna be traveling on a road trip and maybe you want to bring games that require dice, a great travel hack is to pick up these craft and bead storage containers at Dollar Tree. Next, what you can do is just open it up, put two dice into the container, close the lid, and instead of having to throw the dice when you're traveling, all you have to do is shake it and you can read your dice through the plastic. I had a lot of questions about my Alex drawer in my closet organization video, so I thought I would show you some of the ways I organize in here. So one of the things I use is this thrifted tray that I got. It's perfect for keeping all of your different hairsprays and like root touch up. I have some claw clips back here. I also keep this little container here with scissors and like candle lighter. And then this is a container from Target. These are items I grab for pretty much every day day. And then in the Alex drawer, I have it nice and organized. I put these labels on here so I know how to find things really easily. So in the top drawer, I have, this was hair. I need to revamp this because I put some of my brushes in here. So I do need to relabel that one. And then I have this one with like skincare items. I don't really have much in here right now. The drawers I probably use the most are the bottom three. So every day I pull my wash cloth out of here. I also pull out, these are my little headbands that I use. They're in my Amazon store. I'll link them for you guys. But these are what I use to wash my face in the morning. And I also put these on whenever I'm wearing makeup. So my washcloths are in there. And then this is my palette drawer. So all of my makeup palettes are in here. I do get asked frequently. So I'll just tell you guys some of my favorite palettes that I use. I love this. It's called Glam Palette. And then the other one I use a lot is this Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I don't even know if they still make it anymore. I love makeup, so I have several palettes. And then this bottom drawer is kind of like my catch-all drawer. So I just keep extras of things, razors, you know, things that I don't use too often in here. I didn't tell you guys, but this Alex store, you can actually buy at Ikea and it's a great solution if you need to store extra items for your closet or your bathroom. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment the word of the day, which is organization. I hope this video gives you inspiration to organize your house and just get started. And I don't want you to feel discouraged because organization really does take time. So just concentrate on making little steps, but don't worry if your house is not completely organized. I have to tell you, mine is not. A new item that I really wanted to pick up off of Amazon are these acrylic organizers for your clothing. See, I don't have a lot of drawers in here, so I have to rely on shelving. You can do things like your bins, but a lot of times I like my clothing sitting out so I can see it. So these acrylic organizers are great to separate your clothing. If you're wondering how I got my pants to look nice and neat on here and really streamlined, I'm gonna show you my folding technique. Okay, so I have my pair of pants. I'm gonna lay them out, and then I'm just gonna fold them over in half. Then this little part here, you're gonna tuck in, and then all you have to do is fold them over in equal thirds. Ta-da, that's all you have to do. I recently learned something new about putting a trash bag on. Now, if you're like me, you probably get your trash bag out, and you go like this, and then you just stick it into your trash can. Well, that's not how you're supposed to put it on. So the way you're supposed to put it on is you're actually supposed to put it on with this portion on the outside and then you push the entire trash bag in the middle. It's supposed to stay on better. Now you can see that the seams are actually on the inside of the trash bag now. So let me know what you think. Are you gonna start putting your trash bags in like this? 
Last year, I did a really big overhaul on my linen closet, and I have to say I've maintained it really well. I bought some pretty baskets for my linen closet, and I have to tell you, every time I open up my closet, I'm so excited to see them. It's so pretty, but it's functional. I can keep my sheets in one, I have toiletries in another, a washcloth, and it really just organizes everything. Since this style of baskets is not clear, sometimes it's helpful to label them just so you know exactly what's in your baskets. You can also use Dollar Tree organization for a fun family night. One of my favorite things are these little popcorn containers. They come in a packet too. If you're having a family movie night, you can actually create your own movie theater combo kit using one of these Dollar Tree organizers. So pick one of these up. If you can find these popcorn containers, they're perfect as well. So I'm gonna put that in. Then you can just fill it with Dollar Tree snacks that you pick up. They have several different drinks you can use and then pick your family's favorite snacks. Let's talk spices. They can be really difficult to organize and I've tried a lot of different systems. This current system's working pretty well for me. So the first thing I always love for my spices is this turnstile. It's not from Dollar Tree, it's actually from Walmart, but I love being able to just spin this around and pull off spices. Up here, these are Dollar Tree containers and I will keep spices in here. I love that I can pull it out and easily see the different spices. These are the spices I don't use that often. But then down here, Next to my turnstile, I have two different things. I have this blue container, and that's where I keep all of these different like ranch packets and like taco seasoning. But this, this is a tip for your spices. I bet there's probably four to five spices that you use very frequently. Pull those out and put them together in a container. And that's going to be the container you reach for the most. Because a lot of times we fish through all of our spices when we're just looking for the same four containers. So put a container together with your four or five favorites and it'll make finding your spices a lot easier. Now, if you're looking for affordable organization, don't forget Dollar Tree. I have found some of my best organizers there. I absolutely love these black and white ones, and I believe this year they come in a variety of colors. Those are great for organizing things like towels. In one of the baskets, I also have toothbrushes and toothpaste for my kids. You can also use these white baskets. These are great for holding first aid items and medicine. Baskets are always a great way to create stylish organization in your house. I love using them with my plants. I found this basket off of Amazon and I absolutely love it. I'll link it for you down in the description box, but I'm gonna set it on a stool next to a chair in my living room and then add in a plant that I already had. This one I actually picked up at Ikea. I buy most of my plants at Ikea. I find they have a great selection and they're pretty affordable. Baskets are also great for storing throw blankets and pillows. I especially like to do this technique in my bedroom because I have a lot of pillows on my bed and I don't wanna throw them on the floor. So I have a larger basket. This one is actually from JCPenney. I've had it now for at least a year. You can use any basket to throw in your pillows or anything you have that you don't want on your bed at night. Dollar Tree sells these click and lock containers that are perfect for creating first aid kits that are great for your car or really anywhere that you need it. So I'm gonna put mine together. The first thing I did was create a cute graphic to put on the front. I went into Cricut Design Space and found a plus sign, sized it down so it would fit perfectly on the top of my container, and then I cut it out on some red vinyl. Then I weeded it and now I'm just going to peel it off and put it on the top of my container. You can also find all the supplies you need for your first aid kit at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add those to my container now. It's ready to go now and super cute. I love glass containers with bamboo lids. I've had these now for probably a couple of years. I picked them up off of Amazon. I'll link them for you down below. The problem is when you take your dry goods out and put them into glass containers, you may not know when they expire. So I have a hack for that. What you're going to do is you're gonna get a chalk marker. This is one you can pick up at Dollar Tree and you're gonna write the expiration date on the bottom of your container. That way, if you wanna know when it's expired, you just have to flip it over and see the expiration date on it. And you could also wash it off really easily when you put something new in it. 
There's so many items in the Dollar Tree organization section that you can use to organize your fridge. These bins are great for snacks. Love the handle on the front, only $1.25. I also love these bins. I will use these to organize so many different items inside of my fridge. These large shallow containers are perfect for organizing your makeup in your drawers. I love these for a bathroom. If you have a cabinet, maybe underneath your sink that doesn't have any shelving, these are great. These are stackable bins that you can stack on top of each other. They're great for storing towels, your sponges, even dishwashing pods. You can use these containers all over your house. I'm gonna use them in my pantry to store kid snacks. If you happen to have the Dollar Tree Plus section at your store, there's several organization items you can pick up, like these Sterlite containers. They have a lid, they also lock in place. Dollar Tree also has their own line of organization in the Plus section from large items like this really cool laundry basket. I also love this woven basket down here. This one's only $3. All right, this is definitely new, you guys. This Sterlite container, it has this really cool woven pattern on it. You could use this as a laundry basket. I'm gonna use it for a trash can. may not know this, but I actually have a second channel called Liz Fenwick Daily. On that channel, I post daily DIY videos. They're shorter, so you can watch them really quickly. So if you're interested in checking it out, go search on YouTube, Liz Fenwick Daily, and make sure you subscribe. If you struggle to decorate your home, a hack you can try is to use functional decor in your decorations. So a container like this is great to sit down on your desk with your pins. We all know that these clear acrylic containers are perfect to put it in your drawers, but I think whenever you set up your desk, it's important to take the time to organize your space. It'll just keep it so much more organized for longer. And if you have these and maybe a messy drawer, this is the perfect time to go through your drawers and organize them a little bit. Another hack to try whenever you're organizing your space is to be strategic with where you put items. So things that I use really frequently, I'm gonna have in my first slot. So my scissors, I grab all the time, so they need to go right here. Things like pens that I use all the time, have those sitting out, and things that you don't use as frequently, you can put those off to the side or in the back. What do you do if you don't have an outlet close to your desk for plugging things in like your laptop or a lamp? You can get one of these easy to use extension cords and put a command strip on the back of it. Then place it on the underneath side of your desk Then you can plug the extension cord into your nearest outlet and then you'll be able to easily plug in your devices. Have you guys seen this new microfiber fan duster? This is going to be so great to clean my fan blades or up top on my curtain rods. All you need is this and add a broom handle and start cleaning. So I think my fan blades are a little too large to fit into the opening so that you can dust them off. You can still dust the top of it or any hard to reach areas. But as far as fitting it through the fan blades, it didn't work for me. For items that you don't use very often in your closet, you wanna put them up high out of the way, but I like to get a decorative bin. That way, when you look up at the top of your closet, it looks really nice. So in my closet, I bought these wicker baskets at the at-home store. They were under $20, but they're just really cute, and I can put in their items that I maybe get out every once in a while. Like, I keep our travel items, some hats, memory items, things like that. So these are the Target bins that I got. I love that I was able to get like a variety of sizes. These were actually really affordable and they fit in nicely on my shelf. I also have another one over here. I keep some of my hair and skincare items in here just because I don't have room out in my bathroom. If you wanna save some money, I wanna recommend getting these bins from Dollar Tree. You guys, these are some of my favorite Dollar Tree bins. They're only a dollar and they're great for storing items in your closet. You can see how nice it is where I have six up here. These are a really easy option and they hold quite a bit of your clothing. 
Organizing your kitchen can be one of the most tricky areas to organize in your house and it can be overwhelming. So my strategy is to organize by zones. I don't tackle my entire kitchen in one day. So maybe I'll work on my fridge one day, my pantry another day, you know, maybe pick two cabinets to work on another day. Another day I might work underneath my sink. So just break it up into different zones. It'll make it a lot easier. One of my biggest tips that I can give you to help you save money is to wait and buy your organization bins until you know what exactly you need to organize. So if you're clearing out a linen closet like this, go ahead, pull all the items out, get rid of the stuff you don't need. And before you start putting your items back in, that's when you want to go to the store, buy your organization container. So you only buy exactly what you need for the space. It's going to save you a bunch of money. So my next tip is what to do with all your jewelry in your closet. Now, one of my most popular organizing videos on my channel was where I showed you guys how to make these with Dollar Tree frames. These frames are still hanging up here and they're a perfect organization for your earrings. So what you're going to do is grab a Dollar Tree frame. Then you're going to get some of the shelf liner. That's like a white mesh. You could use a colorful one as well. And you're going to take out the glass and put in that white mesh, put the backing back on your frame, and then just use some command strips to hang it on the wall. Then they're perfect for putting in earrings. So your earrings will just fit in here perfectly. This is such a great system and so affordable. The other option that I have is creating a little tier tray. I bought this from Dollar Tree. These are two glass plates from Dollar Tree. And then this is one of their glass bowls. And then I just bought these cute little candle holders. I put it together with E6000. And this is great for little posts that won't fit in here with like the danglies. I'll just leave them sitting out here. And honestly, this is easy for me. I'll just throw them on here and I find both of these systems work great. I would have to say one of my best buys at Dollar Tree for my kitchen is the towel bar that I keep on the cabinet underneath my sink. I love having a towel really close to where I'm washing my hands or doing dishes. It's a lot better than hanging it over here, maybe on my oven, and it just fits nicely onto my cabinet and I can put my towel on there. Sometimes you can be lucky enough to find name brand organization items here at Dollar Tree. This is by the brand Made Smart. The quality on this is awesome. So let's organize with these. I found some more Made Smart containers. These are gonna be great for organizing your makeup products in your bathroom. I think I'm gonna use them for utensils in my kitchen. Since I have some deep drawers in my pantry, I'm gonna use containers. I put six in the front, and then I had three that I put in the back. In the front, I'm gonna store my rose gold utensils upright. They're a lot easier to grab and go this way. And then I have some serving spoons that I'm going to put in the back. The quality on these containers are great. I know they're gonna last for years. I have a hack for you if you want to store your cleaning supplies in your cabinets on the door. Now I picked these up off of Amazon. They are command hooks that are specifically for your cleaning supplies. You can also grab them at Home Depot as well. What you're going to do is take them out of the package and then they have command strips on the back. You're going to pull those off and place them onto your cabinet and then you can just place your cleaning supplies on here. Close the cabinet. This is a great way to make use out of that vertical space. You want to make sure in high traffic areas you have really sturdy baskets. So in my laundry room, I actually have a mudroom space that we throw our shoes in every day. So I opted to go with plastic baskets in there. That way we can clean them out if we need to. They're just a little bit more heavy duty and they work really well. One of my favorite organization items from Dollar Tree is this dish towel holder. I use it every day and it goes underneath my sink, but you can actually use this to store your paper towels as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you just wanna pull it apart. Next, you're gonna take one end of the dish towel holder, place your paper towels on it, and then you'll put the other side and connect them in the middle. And then you're just going to twist them together. Then you can just place it on the inside of your cabinet. If you're wanting a high-end look, you may want to consider these black wire containers. I think they look like Pottery Barn. They are great for putting in your bathroom. I also love them in my pantry. I'm going to show you a DIY you can do with these. I wanted to add some Dollar Tree labels to the front of these black containers. I went into Cricut Design Space and I typed out the labels I wanted to do. I decided I was going to organize my vitamins and my medicines that I was going to put in my pantry, the ones that we keep out and use frequently. 
And then I cut them out on my Cricut Explore 3 with some black vinyl. Then I weeded them out. Now my wood pieces, these are from Dollar Tree and I cut them down to fit on the front of my black containers. I also added a stain to them. Once the stain was completely dry, I put the labels on the front using some transfer tape. And then I simply added hot glue to the back of my labels, put the black wire baskets on, and then added a little bit of additional hot glue. And then I used them to organize my vitamins and medicine. I want to show you guys this drawer because I have a lot of Dollar Tree items in here. Now the biggest item is not from Dollar Tree. This is an organizer I picked up at Target. I'll link it for you down below, but it's just an organizer. It was around $12 where you can put your gallon size, Ziploc bags, quart, sandwich, and snack. Also in the store, I have these white plastic kitchen organizers. And then I keep in here the Dollar Tree measuring cups. I have about two sets. And in the back, I have the Dollar Tree measuring spoon. If you like these drinks in these brown amber bottles, these are great to reuse. Now you can keep them as they are and use them for so many things around your house. But another trick you can do is actually take the lid off, put in water or any cleaner you may have. And most spray bottle lids will fit onto these amber containers so you can make your own household cleaners or solutions. I had so many ideas for how I wanted to do these shelves. So with my top shelves, I thought this would be great to put some of my decorative bowls and platters and cake plates that I don't use often but are really pretty. So I added those to my top two shelves. So I found several organizers that I thought were going to work on each of my shelves. So I started there. I just started putting the organizers out on the shelf, seeing where they fit best and where I thought they would work best for my family. Now before I added any food, I got some post-it notes. This is a hack I like to use. And I wrote out the different food items and put those onto my different containers just to plan out where I'm gonna put everything. That just saves you a step of having to like move things around if you just plan it out first on post-its. So on this shelf, I went with glass containers and these are so pretty. You can get them in a set off of Amazon. Everything I'm showing you in this video, I'm going to link down in the description box. You wanna click the arrow over here and it'll drop down the description box. All of the links will be right there. You can click on them and it'll take you to Amazon. One of the things I really wanted to do in this pantry was use dark wood. And that was actually a lot harder to find than bamboo for some reason. But I found these different sets of dark wood containers. And in these, I put my all-purpose flour, I put spaghetti, I put oats, and I also put in some breadcrumbs. So on the next shelf, I wanted some bins or baskets and I felt like this was a really good option. Now, one of the things you always have to pay attention to is your measurements. So I made sure I knew how long it was here and how far my shelf went out before I ordered anything. And these are great. I love that they're not clear because sometimes you wanna hide some things. If everything's clear on your pantry, it may look a little bit cluttered. So I like that I can still see in these baskets and I love the dark finish to them.
So this area is definitely for my kids. This is like the grab and go snack area. So I found these clear acrylic containers off of Amazon that have dividers in them. And I just lined up all the different snacks. I decided not to label these because I figure it's going to change. Whenever we run out of one thing, I'll just put in whatever we have. And I want to show you too down here. This is where I put all of the extra snacks in this bin. So we can just refill it as we go. Or if we get in snacks, we can put them in there. These bins on the bottom row are from Target. Now these containers are airtight containers. I will say I spent a little bit more on these, but I really did my research and tried to find the most affordable option that had really good reviews. They come in a pack of four, so I bought eight of them, but these are great airtight containers. These are one of those things you kind of make an investment in and then have them for years to come. But I have things like our cereals or pretzels, things that my kids pour out and put into a baggie or a bowl. Now, a great trick for a corner of a pantry is to use Lazy Susans. I found these ones that are actually quite taller and I have different things in here. Like up here, I have spaghetti sauces, but you can see here, if it's on a Lazy Susan, you can twist it around, find what you want. Nothing's gonna get lost back there. I'm gonna put salsa on this one. This one down here, I have condiments. And then on the bottom one, I'm gonna put our oils. One thing I can't figure out is what to put here. So let me know in the comments what you guys would put in these different sections. So our cabinets that we installed in here, so we built the shelf to go over here and then it also goes along this well over here. So we have a smaller area of here for a pantry. So I found these baskets that you can just pull down and like this one, I put all of my Quest chips in there. And then I also found them in another version where the fronts are open. So I put pickles in there and onions over here. Now I love under here how I have these big drawers. You can put so much in here. This is my neighborhood snack drawer. So I just threw all the snacks in from Costco. I love how these drawers have the slow clothes on them. That's a new feature I've never had before. So that's exciting. I decided to get the smaller cabinet drawers so that I would just have more room for organizing. So I wanted to show you how I organized a couple of the drawers. So this top one over here, I bought these bamboo containers off of Amazon. They're all individual. I couldn't buy one of the big ones because I didn't have enough space here. So I got these individual ones, but this is gonna be perfect for grabbing snacks and easily putting them into the sandwich bags. In this drawer underneath, I have my foil, my plastic wrap, and my wax wrap. This is linked down below if you guys are interested in this. In this drawer, I put my frequently used office supplies. I just divided it up with these clear containers I bought really inexpensively in a pack off of Amazon and just added in my favorite office supplies. I also added in this bamboo silverware organizer for silverware that we don't use every day. Now I have to say, this is absolutely one of my favorite areas. I wanted an area where we could put all of our devices that are charging out of the way. So I wanna show you what I came up with. So in these two cabinets are all of our charging items. So in the back here, we put in these special outlets. I'm gonna pull this out so you can see it. We put in these special outlets that have USB ports in here. So you can actually charge four different devices in this one outlet. The other thing I bought are these one foot iPhone chargers. They come in a pack of five. I think they're around $10. These are great because you don't have a really long cord. Now to label everything, I'm using this cell phone label maker. It's one of my favorite new ways to label, but essentially what you can do is just download the app. You just type out what you want to label and it prints it off. It connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And it's honestly one of the easiest ways I've found to label things. And then I went through and labeled everything. Hopefully my kids will put it back where they're supposed to, but I have like parent items up here. This is for our AirPods or our phones. Then down on this next shelf, I have phones and iPads. And then every day my kids have to charge their laptops. So we put laptop chargers down here so that they can take them to school.
Okay, Liz, next on the list. <laughs> what is he doing? Next on the list is reorganizing the hutch in your bathroom. All right, we need to tackle it. So let's go look at it. <laughs> So this hutch is now my bathroom. It originally was in my dining room and I use it to store a lot of things and it's super messy right now. I will say the top of it is actually pretty, it's not too bad. I kind of just have more, like I have some towels, I have some decor up here. This is some of my makeup that I use. I don't know if I even use all of it, but I probably could go through that. But then, the drawers are what really needs to be organized. All right, you guys, don't judge me. This is my drawer of nails, and I just have so many containers of nails that I need to get rid of. They're like half full. I don't even know why I'm keeping them. So I need to go through, clear this out, and organize it. And then also underneath here, I have some nail polishes. I keep towels, but look, it's just completely disorganized. So let's get this organized and make it functional. So my strategy for the nails is I'm going to pull out a set and if the set is too many big, like if this is not enough for me to wear a full set, I'm gonna get rid of it because most of the nails are probably too big for me to use. And I'm just gonna go quickly and try to keep the ones that I can still use and get rid of the ones I can't. Now you guys, these are my favorite nails. These last the longest of any nails that I have. In my defense, the reason that I keep all these is if I lose like one nail while I'm wearing a set, I feel like I can come in and just pull one out of the box. So I don't know if I have a better system for these nails. <laughs> this is the nail glue I use for all my nails, but I have a ton of these. So I'm gonna go through, pull them out and make sure they're good, like they're not goopy or anything and I'll get rid of any ones that are bad. This is what happens when I'm disorganized. I buy too many. I do not need this many nail glues. So now that I have everything cleared out of the drawer, I have to determine where I want to put everything back. The cool thing about this drawer is it already has like built in organizers. So I don't have to put anything in this drawer. Based on what I have, I think what I'm going to do is put my glue in one of the containers, my tools in this one. And then I thought my most frequently used nails I would put here. So like I'm thinking my acrylic nude ones I'll put on one. And then I also wear these glitter nails a ton. So I'll put those over here. And then all of like my colorful nails like this, I will try to organize those in this big space that I have over here. So let's put all that together and see how it looks. This looks so much more organized and I actually am able to see the nails that I actually have. So absolutely love this. So now I'm gonna tackle this cabinet down here. I'm gonna pull everything out. I'm gonna figure out what I wanna put back in here and we can map it all out. There's paint samples from my daughter's bedroom. Do those belong in here? <laughs> I think not. A random iPad. And these are some nails I bought that I didn't like, so we're gonna have to donate those. So one of the hacks I like to use whenever I'm organizing stuff like my hutch or my pantry or refrigerator is I grab some post-its and I like to map out where I'm going to put everything so I have a plan so I don't have to just keep moving everything around. So I have some post-its, I'm gonna write on there where everything's gonna go. If I need to move it around with the post-its, I can do that, but it's going to be a lot easier putting it back in. To maximize your vertical space, consider using two tier organizers. I like this one because it actually has drawers that pull out so you have a lot of organization. So I have two of these, I'll link them for you down in the description box, but one is great for housing all of our hair stuff. This was sitting out, but I think it's gonna work a lot better in this cabinet. And then here I'm going to organize the nail polishes and these come out really easily as well. They have dividers that you can use. So 
I have this container of makeup that I have displayed up here that really doesn't need to be out. It's not really pretty, so I'm thinking that I'm gonna move this down here. It feels so good to have this hutch organized. I feel like it's a lot more functional now. This time of year, you definitely want to pick up one of these garden tool hangers over here in the spring section. This is great for organizing all year round. You can put things like spray bottles in here. I'm going to use it to actually hang up my gardening tools. To attach my garden tool to the wall, I'm going to be using some of these command strips. Here's a hack to save time when folding your washcloths. Um, don't. Just get a container like this. Any container will work. And instead of folding your washcloths, just throw them in there. You don't need to fold them and it saves so much time. If you love nut butter but don't like the separation, a hack is to actually store your nut butter upside down in your pantry. That's going to prevent the separation that happens. And then when you wanna use it, you just flip it over and it's ready to go. Now my next tip is for your vacuum. So if you have a tiny closet to store your vacuum like I do, consider hanging it on the wall. I actually have one of these wireless vacuums that are great. They come with the features, you can hang them on the wall and it just saves so much storage space. Over here in the stationary section, there's several organization items you can find. Now, one that's been around for years are their book bins, but these are great. You can use them to organize in your kitchen. They're great for your bathroom. I'm gonna show you how I use them in my bathroom. I like to keep it simple with my book bins and just add in my washcloths. In one of my latest shopping videos, I found these little organizers. They come in a bunch of different patterns. I love to use these to organize my jewelry, any little jewelry or rings. It's perfect in these little drawers. So my next tip is to have a valet hook or some kind of hook in your closet so you can hang out your outfit of the day. Mine is actually up here because this is really the only spot that I could find for it. And this is a hook from Ikea. You just screw it into the wood or your wall and then pick out what you wanna wear for the day and you can just hang it up here. That way it's good to go. I love doing this at night. If you wanna get really crazy, you could pick out all your outfits for the week and you know be ready to go all week. I hope I gave you some inspiration to organize a space in your house. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in our next one. Bye.